Hey, what's going on, you guys? This is Castle David. Welcome back to a Let's Play of Medieval. So now we just uh, get to go into, well, excuse me, inside the asylum. We got done with the asylum grounds plus uh, uh, the sleeping village. So we're gonna now we're gonna start off with this pretty short level inside the asylum. So we got the axe out because this mainly this level is gonna be a lot, a lot, of, a couple waves of enemies, but. We, get, we got a ton of enemies to kill before we can get the chalice. You can see the uh, chalice going up very slowly. But the axe here is very useful, throwing it especially. Because cause this this axe, if you were to throw it, it kills these uh, zombies in one hit. Very good. Very good. But you got to be ready for these enemies that come out. Because they will... Uh, you got to be ready. Because uh, there's going to be a lot of guarding. Oh, crap. Ow. Tri triple play cable air that and phone all for one low monthly rate mick double toss that shit on the grill fuck and these zombies are pretty tough too so you might want don't want to get too close to these guys you do not want to get close and maybe do a, a lot of guarding especially because these guys will try to get at you a lot this time there's gonna be like cannonballs coming at us so you got to do some running and running as well it's going to be pretty hard trying to avoid the cannonballs, plus uh, avoiding these zombies, because these zombies are pretty deadly. They can deal a lot of damage. Crap. It's hard trying to keep up. Yep, there, there that goes. I'm already having to use a fucking life bottle. There goes that room. Still got a couple more left. This is a bit tougher. Now I got these stupid bats. Plus zombies coming in at the same time, so that just makes it a lot worse. Don't aim for the bats, you stupid... Get away! God! Get away from me! Get away! I'm already having to use that energy vial. This is pretty bad. I usually do a lot better than this. Ah! Get away! Stupid zombies. I can't believe they would have to actually make the zombies, like, overpowered! Now these big guys come in, too. These big guys are annoying, too. Ah! It's like you gotta avoid, you gotta wait, you gotta make them run into a wall before you can actually try to hit them. Ow! So that way they'll be stunned and then you get a free hit on them. So you don't get risk taking damage from them. This stupid bat, too. Or if they come out in front of you like that, then you can get a free hit on them. Ah, uh, get away! Get away from me! Ah, uh, the stinking bat, too. Get out of here, you annoying bat. Alright, looks like these are the last three. Yikes. Get away! Get away, no one likes you, no one likes you. McDouble. Toss that shit on the grill. So we can refill our shield. Leave me alone, you stupid bat. No one likes you. Oh, and these 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 guys that run are pretty annoying too. Once again, these guys take two to kill. Two two axe throws to kill. So you're gonna do a, like a lot of double backing to get these guys, but. It's always safe to try and get a good distance away from them so they won't hit you whenever you turn around like so. Or if you just go come across them when you're running. Like I'm doing. Basically you're going to want to play uh, play it safe a lot throughout the, the entire course of this level. Since there's a, since there's a whore, whole horde of enemies going to come right after you. You're going to be facing a lot of them. So I always like to play it safe in this level.
Uh, just a, in a second now, the uh, the uh, more of the uh, green zombies will come out. Right about now. Not only do I get a bag of gold, but the oh, more of these guys. Plus an energy vial drops down. So, oh, two of them actually. I mean, we could just uh, go. I could go over to the merchant, probably like in, enhance my uh, broadsword, but. Really, I just, I don't really need to, because I can just keep doing this. Oh, whoa, he almost hit me. And uh, also, you can use your dash. To, oh, here come the zombies. Here come the zombies. You can also use your dash to try to gain some, to gain some distance away from these guys. So you can get a good hit on them. But it's always best to, ow, whoa, keep your distance away from these enemies, because these guys are like super super buffed up this time around as uh, so all right that's the end of that room so I do believe we've got one more room and it's this one right here uh, since these guys are coming in from the left uh, you may as well just jump to the right so you can get easy hits on them but of course you got to watch out for these cannonballs because they're the threat at mainly the real threat at this point ow but after you kill a few of these guys, the zombies on the right will come out. But, ah, crap! Ah, the stupid cannonballs, I'm not paying attention. But any second now we'll kill enough enemies for the chalice. Alright, awesome. Alright, doom chest. Hit it, hit it, get away, get away, get away! Get away! Alright, and that's the end of that. And I do believe that's it. Yep, we're done. Finally. Phew! The chalice is right there, and here's the earth rune. And, uh, if we use the earth rune right here, we will rescue the, uh, sleeping village's mayor. By heck, am I glad to see you. That Zabbat tried to force me to hand over the Shadow Artifact. He means to release the demons from their tomb under the Enchanted Forest. But I said to him, I said, You can't touch me, you lanky windbag. I'm the mer. Aye, that told him. But then he had me locked up in here with all these nutters. Oh, it's been terrible. I haven't managed to get a word of sense out of anyone in weeks. <laughs> right. Well, I'll see myself out, thanks. You have a good look around, lad. Xarax left some stuff lying about that I think you might find useful. Like this dragon gem here. So we got our second dragon gem, like the first one we got from the pumpkin witch. And I'll go ahead and uh, heal myself up with this fountain of rejuvenation. So good thing I'll be uh, completely full whenever we get out of here. Uh, like I said in the last part, this level is short. Uh, could have done a lot better, but hey, it's, it's all about getting through the level. That's really all that. And we are now at completely full, completely stocked. Let's get out of here. So now we got the Hall of Heroes once again. It's pretty funny how we're having to keep going in the pattern of going through a level and what the heck? That was pretty funny when I just saw like a saw like a bar come down. I saw it too. Uh, it's kind of weird since we're dealing with the Hall of Heroes a lot. Like I said, we, you're, if you were to do this yourself, you'd be dealing with this a lot. Now this guy. Ah, Herr Fortescue, so you are back on the battlefield, yeah? This is good. People say to me, Stungar, what do you think of this sword or that axe? But I say to them, nein! Modern warfare is a question of science, the science of shields! <laughs> I think maybe you should take my shield, yeah? It is magic here for this cure. Some say it is better to have a magic sword than a magic shield, but I say to you that this is rubbish! I actually do like this guy, the uh, the German uh, hero. <laughs> I, I think this guy is funny too, but yeah, the uh, shield is very, very good. So long as you use it properly, the shield will make you invincible! I don't see anything wrong, he's saying, oh no, like something bad's gonna happen. But here is the gold shield. Yeah! You, you 
we had a copper shield, and then we had a silver shield, now we got a gold shield. <laughs> I mean, it's like it doesn't make sense if you uh, have like the uh, technical colors like that. It doesn't make sense to have a complete of to com uh, complete the colors. I mean, if you were to have a copper, I mean, you've got to have a copper. If you have copper, then you've got to have a silver, and you also have to have a gold. You may not have to have a diamond or a platinum or whatever the sorts, but hey, just just complete it with gold at least. All right, so we're done with this stretch of the levels. Now I gotta go over here. Yep. I don't know why I couldn't go diagonal left, diagonal up left. But that's whatever. So now I gotta go to the Enchanted Earth. Once again, happy Halloween, everybody. <laughs> That's another, like, one of those scenes that tells you if it's Halloween, you you got to do it. All right, here are these uh, frogs. Of course, they attack, but really, you can just leave them alone if you want. Because they don't deal very, very much damage. Every, whether you touch them or uh, or if they spit their slime at you. They're all six, six uh, damage, so really, there's no point in, uh, in even a... Uh, ow! Even dealing with them actually but over there is like a, another level like a kind of like a secret level but I'm not gonna deal with it this part I'll deal with the next part because that secret level can, can be can take quite a while so I'll just deal with this uh, main level ah you stinking frog these frogs though are annoying so I'm gonna go ahead and kill them because I'm gonna may want to put that fountain of rejuvenation to use and also, what I'm going to want to do is, uh, I'm going to go over to the merchant really, really fast before we go up those, uh, um, uh, that, those, uh, steps. If I can find the merchant. And we can't go over that, that way yet. We can't go over there just yet. Ah, uh, shoot, where's the merchant? Oh, I guess he's, uh... I know there's a merchant in the level, but I guess I just uh, can't get to him yet. So we're gonna, so first we're gonna have to go up here. I know the boredom ensues here. It's just basically just standing still for a few minutes, which is a shame, a big shame. Do 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 so now we're at the top of this uh, tree. We gotta climb up these uh, petals. Because this is where we can uh, find the uh, earth rune inside these eggs. But you gotta be careful, uh, the uh, mother bird's gonna try to attack you since you're messing in her nest. Just gotta watch out for the shadow. Because that's when uh, she's gonna swoop down and try to hit you. But if you uh, guard, then, she, then you won't get touched by her. Oh, that was close right there. And we can just uh, jump down since so we're now at the earth room. Now we can get off the tree. Now normally I might think I probably could just drop down, but it may be a bit too high and I don't want to risk getting killed. So that tends to happen. Like if you're at a very, very big height, you tend to uh, fall to your death. But I know I can jump off about this height. I can jump off at this height. So yeah, I don't want to risk it. Oh, stupid camera, get out of here. We can't get in that section yet. Uh, it's going to be a little bit later. Yeah, we probably don't have access to the merchant yet, but that's fine. So we got to use the earth rune right here. Ah, jump in the tar. I hated this area. I always hate this area. So there's always going to be something uh, cock-blocking me from getting on these platforms. Always something. Like that right there, the slime! The slime blocked me. It's like you may as well just deal with the enemies before you can even deal with any threats before you can even get on these platforms. See that right there? I'm already getting slaughtered by this stupid frog. That's what that's what messed me up. And then these plants that attack me too. Ah, these things. 
gotcha. Okay, it looks like we're good here. Oh, whoa, whoa, that was close. None shall enter. The shadow demons are entombed within, separated from the world of goodness and light until the earth cracks open. No one, not even the Dark Lord Zarek, can release them without the shadow artifact. Leave now, or share their doom. Oh, I'm not afraid. So this is where we're supposed to use the uh, shadow artifact to open this door. We go down here. And we've got ourselves a lovely puzzle. And and uh, we got these four panels here. Uh, that little uh, wind right, that, that little wind, that is the uh, wind panel. Each panel like represents an element. Uh, that was, that's the wind panel. That is the earth panel. This is the fire panel. This is water. And I know the exact combination on what needs to uh, open. Fire, earth, water, wind. There we go, yeah. Fire, earth, water, wind. And we have just released all the shadow demons. But here is the uh, shadow talisman. That's what we're going to need uh, here in a little bit. Uh, there is the uh, chalice, but of course we can't get that yet. Here's a lovely energy vial. Ah, I needed that. And so we go over here. Now we are out, back on the level, and here's another gargoyle. What have you done? Once again, the shadow demons are wreaking havoc across the land, and it's all thanks to you. The single most destructive and wretched creatures in the history of the world, and you've given them an early parole. They will be heading for the ruins of King Peregrine's castle. Galamir is doomed. Not on my watch. Oh, but yeah, now the now the shadow demons have come alive. What I'm gonna try to do here is I'm gonna try to get all of them down here. Come on, you little fuckers! Oh shit! This guy just came out of nowhere. Fuck! 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 Fuck you! Fuck you! Fuck off! These guys are tough. So what I'm gonna try to do is I'm gonna try to get them to come down here. Get away! Fuck! Or I could just do this. Get away! Did that... Did that even touch me? I don't think so. That looked like it didn't even touch me. Alright, finally he's dead. But yeah, I... I was planning on trying to get those uh, guys down here so I can just uh, do this repetitively. Because like I said, they're pretty tough. They're pretty tough. Oh, okay. Looks like that one was open. The stupid camera again. Stupid camera. And once again, there's going to be a lot more of them to come out here. But what I need is the merchant. I need the merchant. I know there's a merchant around here. So I need to enchant my sword. Ow! You... Where's that bloody merchant? I know he's around here somewhere. There's a gold chest. Get out of the way! I swear the camera angles in this game are atrocious. Good thing we got this, still got the Fountain of Rejuvenation here. Yep, yep, there they are, there they are. Uh oh, I'll get away. How did that even touch me to begin with? Man, I'm not, not to mention these guys are annoying. They're pretty annoying, so I've already wasted, I've already got a couple life bottles wasted due to these fuckers. Ow. I just came from that way. Need to go over here to get this one down here. Ah. 
Ah, get away! Get away from me! Leave me alone! Ow! I hate these stupid plants too. They're just trying to make cause even more trouble. Get away! Man, that is so bloody annoying, dude. Maybe there isn't a merchant here. I could have sworn I saw saw a merchant in this uh, level, but I guess not. I'm gonna have to uh, use the fountain of rejuvenation and fill up. Would have been a lot easier for me to kill these guys if I had my enchanted sword. Because the enchanted sword puts work if you uh, have it. I guess I forgot to pay it off in one of the other levels. Alright, fortunately that's all I can get. But behind this tree you can get uh, 100 gold right here. Ah, uh, come on. I can't believe I'm stuck on all this stuff. Not to mention the bad camera ang camera angles, because that's what uh, uh, critics criticize this game about, were the bad camera angles. And I can see why. Because turning the camera in this game is not easy. It is not easy. And I think there's more in this area. But of course, we got more of these stinking bloody plants. Because uh, uh, I want to make sure I kill these uh, enemies, the uh, shadow demons, before we advance. Before we can use the uh, Shadow Talisman. Alright, finally got those plants taken care of. Try to find uh, more of these Shadow Demons. So I know there's a couple more that I can kill. Oh, there he is! Silly me. Merchant. So, I'm gonna go ahead and enchant the sword. So it can be uh, at 100%. Because the enchanted sword really works against these shadow demons. But I don't want to bring it out. Because, up oh, here they are. Here they come. Now we can use the enchanted sword. Because no matter how long you have it out, it'll go down. But the enchanted sword really puts work on these guys. As you see right here, it's really putting in a lot of work. I know there's probably one more that I can kill. I'm trying to try to find it. Uh, it's probably... I gotta go back into the, uh, uh, gate. Probably gotta go back into the, uh, gate to where I came from the end of the level. But yeah, the longer you hold it out, the more power is gonna drain from it. That's the thing that sucks about it. Uh, hello? Any more of you guys? No? Oh well. So, now I'm gonna have to hold, bring out the, uh, cro the uh, longbow, that is. A stupid camera won't turn, I swear. This game's camera angles are atrocious. So once again, I'm going to go into the merchant so I can buy some long, some arrows. I need uh, crossbows and uh, longbows. Yeah, that's good. And we can also use the spears, too. Any, any projectiles will work, but I like the longbow. The longbow is really, really good. So here on this uh, little tablet, the stone tablet, we got to use the shadow talisman. Because now we can now we can uh, get through these no problem. But if you didn't put the shadow talisman right here, these uh, statues would like shoot energy at you, causing you to uh, uh, blocking you from advancing. But here's a star rune. It's gonna trigger a boss fight. You gotta wait until these uh, devils to uh, shoot their uh, little purple balls before you, so way they can stand still for a period of time. Basically, you'll get a couple free hits on them, like so. And like I said, the longbow here is pretty, really, really good for this fight. And then the, uh, uh, the platform will tilt sometimes, so you gotta be ready. You gotta be ready for it to tilt so you don't fall to your death. And then whenever you get them down to this amount of health, they'll, uh, uh, kind of form up. Yeah, well, I was trying to run, but I couldn't, I couldn't run. So, gotta wait for them to get to get that uh, sand still again. But yeah, whenever you get them down to about some, to somewhere past their half their health, they'll uh, come into the center here and uh, try to rain some boulders on you. That's a good chance to get a good couple free hits on these guys. Alright, so he's taken care of. So, just a couple more hits on this guy, and then that'll be it for the boss fight. There it is. Alright. 
So we have got the boss fight taken care of. We don't have to use the uh, longbow anymore. But good thing is, we are presented with two fountains of rejuvenation. So we can get completely full health at this point. It doesn't really matter if you lose your life bottles. Having to use them up, you can always refill them later and basically get back to full health. But the good thing is that boss fight uh, makes you uh, make sure it uh, counts towards your chalice count. So as you can see, the chalice counts at 82%. So that's the good thing about it. So we got a one more found the rejuvenation that we can use, and a 150 gold too, to kind of as a bit of an extra bonus. So I'm gonna want to pull out the ch enchanted sword because I know there's a couple more shadow demons that we can kill, so we we can get the chalice uh, count to 100%. Except I probably don't want to pull it out right here because I don't want to waste a percentage on it and having to pay more. But here's the item: two more er uh, energy vials, but really we don't need them. And the uh, demons will come out right here. We can use the enchanted sword and put this to work. There's one more I gotta kill. I gotta try to make him come out. And there are no demons on the tree. So I may have to come back here to trigger the demons. To trigger another demon. Once again, I gotta kill these guys, because they're gonna try to block me. Try to block me from jumping the... Jumping these. So I'm gonna try to trigger some more of these demons. I'm hoping I don't have to restart this. Because that would be pretty stupid if I did have to. I know there's one more that I can kill, but it's just got... It's like I have to be at a certain position to trigger it. I'll at least go ahead and put... Oh, there he is, right there. There they are. Go ahead and put the work, put it to work. Get out! Thank you. Yeah, he's tra trapped in the corner. There they go. Awesome. I can't believe I didn't forgot about these guys earlier. So now, unfortunately, we got to go all the way back. Silly me. Oh well. At least I got it. That's really all that matters. It's just uh, being able to get it. Probably could have done all this a lot quicker, but uh, but hey, this this level can be a bit confusing sometimes. This is like, oh, do I do this or do I do that first? It can be like that sometimes. Maybe not all the time, but it can be sometimes. Uh, and I hate that jump. It makes me think I'm not gonna make it, and just so I end up falling in the tar pit to lose a to waste a uh, life bottle. But good thing I didn't. Okay, now we can get out of here since we now have the chalice. Alright, onward to the end of the level, and to the Hall of Heroes once again. I mean, we're just like hauling ass between uh, complete, completely completing levels and uh, getting all these weapons from the Hall of Heroes. We're just hauling ass. And I could have just, I could have picked up a, a energy vial so I can be at full health exiting the level, but. Really, there's no need to. I could just revisit a level and get it, get it there, or one of the, la the later levels. But anyway, we're back here to the centaur. Got it right this time. Oh, Danielle, I've got something here I can give you, but I've no idea what it is. Do you fancy a little gamble, like? Yes. It's another longbow, but this time we've got flaming longbow. The flaming longbow is really good. A lot better than the standard longbow. Because really, I think the flaming longbow is rec more recommended to use for that boss fight. Because uh, flaming longbow is uh, basically whenever you hit an enemy with it, they'll they'll uh, you'll get a bit extra damage off them because they'll because they'll burn them for a period of for for a period of time. So the flaming longbow is really good. Much a uh, bit better than the regular longbow. I do believe the I do believe the arrows themselves do the same damage as the longbow does, but it'll just uh, burn them, causing them additional damage. So it's really, really useful. So uh, I'm going to have to go ahead and cut off right here. So I uh, hope you guys enjoyed this uh, part of our Let's Play of Medieval, and I will see you guys in the next part. I'll talk to you guys later. Take it easy.